this is the Pyramid of Wenis. One thing that's unusual about this structure is it does contain funerary texts. It's the Book of the Dead, the Book of Coming Forth by Night. But I'll show you as we go through the passage, there's an indication that it's plaster and not limestone. So we'll go check this out. sure you could hear it on the video uh -huh. okay. this whole structure has crazy acoustic properties that get even more profound as we go through so this part here is the red granite porcullis system so here we have limestone and these are three huge sections of red granite there used to be, like we saw in the Great Pyramid, huge slabs of red granite that were housed in these three niches. So this part was inaccessible. All right, so here, you can literally see that this is the hieroglyphs, right? Yeah. All over the chamber. Yeah. But to me, it really looks like these are plastered on. You can see right, where right. the plaster yeah, yeah. is coming over here. It, again, I don't think that's part of the original limestone. Oh, uh, you think they cut it up with this and put hieroglyphs on it? Well, it was inherited by the dynastic Egyptians right. who added the hieroglyphs in plaster. Uh -huh. You can see here, this material here c continues over here. Yes. This is where the stone starts. But so there's the a layer here that looks like the plaster, the so beginning the, of the, the plaster. Rose, the rose quartz granite is the original. And the, the, original chamber, material. the chamber itself is limestone. Whoa. So the transition from red granite into limestone starts here. Right. Here, let me see the flashlight. All right, so this chamber here, and there's a bunch of stuff I'll talk about, specifically these troughs at the top which is a very unique feature that's 100% part of the function of the structure. Oh, this, yeah. The ceiling does not meet the edge of the wall. You can still see a bit of the original Egyptian blue. Yeah. Again, I think that was added later. You think that was added? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's check this out. Here. And you'll notice in here, no hieroglyphs. Empty room. Wow. And the acoustics. It's crazy. Yeah, completely empty chamber. There's three niches back here. And I had a tour guest come in here with me who is an acoustical engineer. And my hypothesis about this is for sound amplification that resonates through the rest of the structures. Right. He, he agreed with that, that it's configured like a, like a speaker system, essentially, that provides huge resonance cavities that were used for the propagation of sound into the main chamber system. Here in the floor. Your name is Paul. Limestone. Mm -hmm. And this? Alabaster. The glow. Alabaster, yeah, right. Calcite crystal. Right. Same thing here on this wall. This is limestone. This oh, is calcite wow. crystal. So this entire section of the wall, this part here, 
this part here and this part here is all huge single slab of limestone. I mean, uh, calcite crystal. Calcite. Yeah, alabaster. Yeah. Wow. You can see the and difference, then the difference there. The limestone yeah. And the calcite crystal. Wow. Uh, Mafish Noor is going to show us. Okay. Uh, what about your flashlight? Keep this go, one's better. Keep go, keep go. Yes, yes, I know. Can you start you? All right. So he's no going to show you. Okay? Yeah. No statue, okay? Yeah. I know, okay? I see. Okay, you see the figure? Oh, whoa. whoa! You see the belly button and then okay. the arms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Wow. Baby? Baby. Baby. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Incredible. Okay? Yeah. One more. One more. One more. He's gonna give it up. No, okay, take. Yeah, nothing. Nothing there. Okay, uh huh. Okay. Beautiful. Wow. That's incredible. Hi, body Corona. Jay, something to note there. So you can see that the shadow figure is done using a What's different that? stone working that technique than the glyphs that are inscribed yes. on the wall. Right. Yes, yeah, okay. completely. Yeah. Yeah, completely. Which is which is something very significant to point out. Yeah. Again, if you look at this again here. Yeah. So look at the execution of the shadow figure here. Yeah. And the tool, hypothetically, that was used to do that compared to this. So it's two completely different techniques that were used to do the shadow figure yeah. and that were used to do this. That's incredible. So this is a material called black gray weck. You'll notice that the inside of the container is not finished, but the exterior of the container is finished with exceptional precision. I mean, just look how Yeah, even at an extreme light angle. Yeah, it's like a marble countertop. Yeah. And again, this is a huge slab oh, so under good. underneath the yeah. floor here. Yeah. 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 Are you on? Uh, ah, yeah. look at that. Wow. Wow. It's like a sunset. Yeah. So it's just like this section. Yeah. Specifically. Yeah. yeah. The back third of the chamber, the floor underneath this thing. And if you swoop back behind there, if you can squeeze back behind there, I'll show you something that we can talk about when we get on the outside. Okay, so now look at the wall. You'll notice that the hieroglyphs stop. Oh, yes they do. And we'll, we'll talk about why that's the case again. You can see here that this is the same crystal. You'll see. And then we'll talk about that when we get outside. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. That's important to yeah, point yeah. out. We didn't go inside it, we went around the exterior and filmed the Cyclopean. So, the patched hole. So, there is a hole like this at the bottom of the northern inlet shaft of the Red Pyramid. Right. The Pyramid of Wanis, the Pyramid of Teddy, the Pyramid of Menkal Ra all have holes like this at the bottom of the descending shaft. This is where water was introduced into the structure. It's the inlet shaft. Right. Yeah. Water facilitated the whole process inside of the structure, both as a physics-based mechanism of operation for manipulating temperature and pressure, but also as a reactant. 